mark, everybody. So in they come for our first race on day two. And they're off in the air charter service. Mild May, Novices Chase, grade one, 19 fences. Shollock Jack, the red and pink over on the far side, one of the first to show. Brom, the near side, getting over the first. Thomas Darby was just a little bit sticky and landed in sixth place as Shollock Jack and Keelan Woods lead towards the open ditch, number two. Jericho on the black sleeves, just hops over that in behind the leader who went slightly to the right. Complete unknown is on the inside side of the course, Harry Cobden. Galia De Lito is just restrained a little bit today by Harry Skelton. The yellow sleeves on the inside of Bron with Thomas Darby in last position. So Shollock Jack leads them to fence number three, taken three times in this. Shollock Jack just putting himself right to get over it in front of Jerry Colom and Davy Russell in second place. The first time Davy's ridden Jerry Colom in a race today. It's got Galia De Lito, the mayor, on his girth on the outside in fourth position. Position is complete unknown ahead of Bron and then Thomas Darby. So two circuits of the Malbme course in front of them from here. And it is uh, Shollock Jack that leads the way to Jerry Colom in second position. The leader's uh, stable mate, Galia De Lito, is on the outside with uh, Complete Unknown, a very impressive winner at Kempton in a handicap recently, just on the inside of the course, on the rail, Bron and Thomas Darby, the final two. Here's the first of the four in the back. Just in a little bit close there was a Complete Unknown, a lovely jump by the leader. Next fence is plain, an open ditch will come up as number six after that, and it is uh, Shollock Jack that leads the way. Way. Shollock Jack coming in to the next. Got in a little bit tight to that. Jerry Colom in second position. Galia De Lito to the outside. So here is their second open ditch in this race. Galia De Lito getting a bit closer to the pace on the wide outside, getting a, a good view of her fences. And she is level with Jerry Colom over that, which all six of them took very nicely. Complete unknown is now off the inside, a little bit wider. Bron and Thomas Darby, the last two. The final one in the back straight. And there, Galia De Lito almost rose first on the outside. But she's still... Keeping her own counsel a little bit on the outside of the course. Just coming across now as Shollock Jack leads them as they come towards the end of their first circuit. And now facing up to fence number eight before they turn for home. And it is Shollock Jack, Galia De Lito, Jerry Colom on her inside. Complete unknown on the outer. Asked for a, a big jump there, complete unknown. And uh, took it well. Thomas Darby has made a place under Sean Bowen on the inside of Complete Unknown. And Bron, who was uh, third in the Brown Advisory at Cheltenham, a race in which Jerry Colom by a whisker lost his unbeaten record. And finishing second to the real whacker. They're into the home straight again. Here is fence number nine. Shollock Jack, Galia De La Toe, Jerry Colom just in behind them with a complete unknown on the outer. An open ditch coming up again now. This is fence number 10. It'll be two out in another circuit. Shollock Jack continues to take them along. And they're quite well grouped to Galia De La Toe in second. Jerry Colom is just lobbing away on her inside in the same position that he's been throughout the race with Complete Unknown, who's been racing on the inner, but on the outside now, and Bron and Thomas Darby both well in touch as they come to the fence. That'll be the last in another circuit. Shollock Jack, Galia De La Toe, Jerry Colom on the inside. The mayor's gone into a clear second again. Complete Unknown in fourth, so one circuit in front of them. Complete unknown, whose trainer Paul Nichols has won this race with some of his well, very biggest stars, Big Bucks and Silviniaco Conti most notably. Complete unknown in fourth place. Bron and Thomas Darby continue to be the last two. Bron is currently narrowly in front of Thomas Darby. So the final circuit then in the opener, the Air Charter Service, Mild May, Novices Chase, and the big outsider, Shollock Jack, continues to set the pace here to Galia De La Toe in second. Davy Russell unruffled on Jerry Colom in third and saw a line. Shollock Jack has gone there. Keelan Woods on the deck. Uh, Shollock Jack came down at the first one in the back. Jockey up and coming towards another plain one. And Galia De La Toe has now taken the lead left in front to Jerry Colom in second. Complete unknown is in third. The a horse Shollock Jack's on his feet just being led around and hopefully none the worse as Galia De La Toe now tries to put the rest to the sword. Bron made quite a, a significant mistake at that ditch. They've got one more plain one in the back. It's number 15 and it's Galia De La Toe on the attack now to Jerry Colom in second.
second landing three lengths down complete unknown in third and then Braun on the inside Thomas Darby trying to work into it. it's just nudged along by Bowen at the back but Galia De La Toe, she's starting to stretch here and she's opening up by five and is going to try and give Jerry Colomb something significant to do as they come towards the fourth last Galia De La Toe just had a little look there organized by Skelton landed four or five clear Davy Russell hasn't made a move yet on Jerry Colomb he's within three and a half of the leader Harry Skelton sending Galia De La Toe for home Jerry Colomb in second Bron has moved into third past complete unknown who's struggling Thomas Darby is in fifth place coming to the third last then it's Galia De La Toe she was a little bit low at that Jerry Colomb landed within two lengths Davy Russell now just shifted through a gear but only one at the very most because he's cruising on the outside here's the final ditch two out Jerry Colomb has grabbed Galia De La Toe and he's away Jerry Colomb on the run towards the final fence has opened up by five Galia De La Toe is weakening in second now is Bron complete unknown is staying on Jerry Colomb with a four or five length advantage coming to the 19th and final fence in the mild May Jerry Colomb comes into it beautiful jump and going into second is complete unknown Bron in third well this horse would put a smile on anybody's face and it certainly will Davy Russell here Jerry Colomb has sauntered to victory in the Marlboro a class act second was complete unknown in third place Bron Galia De Lito in fourth Beautiful redemption for Davy Russell and also for Jerry Colomb winning the Mild May Novices Chase here at Aintree, a Grade One. Many congratulations. That's much better both for him and for you, I'd imagine. Ah, oh, yeah, it's great. Now, look, Jordan is on foremost of our thoughts because uh, he had done such a marvellous job with his horse, and I was in the lucky position then to be sound and able to ride him. You know, yeah. so you know we're all thinking of Jordan, and obviously he won't take long to come back. But so that's uh, that's a pity for him. But look. Uh, you know what it's like the other I way kinda, around. I kind of needed it now, so I'm not, you know. Yeah, so it was great, great to get it. And uh, But he was, he was, I, I've ridden him at home, I've never ridden him in a race, but geez, today he was on song. Mm. He travelled and jumped and could do whatever I wanted. I wanted to, I didn't want to go chasing down the back, but I could have if I wanted to, but the longer I waited, the better he was getting, you know, so. Great. You must have been delighted the way that the race was panning out as well. A really good pace helping him show to us at his best. Yeah, and I had loads of options. You know, I had ran through loads of different scenarios in my head to make it, you know, make stamina count. And, you know, it just it just worked out. The, the one plan I wanted was a reasonable gallop with a lead. So that was, you know, that was great. It's a very exciting chase of the next season. A Gold Cup prospect? Uh, he is. He's very, he's a lovely horse and his jumping is so good. But as you well know, like to step up from novice to senior is, is huge and there's a couple of very good horses around, but we have a great horse to play with now, you know, and uh, we'll just enjoy it today. And, uh, you know, he, he he was actually bought by a very good friend of mine, Moan Morse, Peter Vaughan. So, um, and he's gone through the point to point route. He's all the he's all the building done for us to enjoy these days. So uh, it's great to be a part of it. And how about you, Davy? You know, with with Cheltenham and how Cheltenham ended in that difficult way. Did you imagine then that you'd be back here in the winners' enclosure at Aintree after a Grade One? No, uh, Gordon was the instigator. Uh, I was finished. Uh, he wasn't happy with me finishing the way I finished. So. Uh, uh, he wanted. He was into. He. I. I, I was. I was done. I didn't. I was finished uh, again. <laughs> and. Uh, and no, he wasn't happy with the with the way. The ending was, and he said, uh, no, he wanted me to ride here. So, and that's great. And when he believes in you like that, I mean, but, and you decided that you're done, well, how do you get your, yourself back? Because you've still got to do it, Davey. Well, you're, you're all your life trying to please trainers and owners and put yourself out there and, you know, let them know that you are the man for the job or woman or whatever it is, because you're the person for the job and all your life you're chasing that and chasing that and chasing that. And it's a tough sport. There's no pats in the backs. Mm. At all, mm. you, 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 you're up, you're down, you're in, you're out, and that's it. But you never get a pat in the back. You just have to keep moving on to the next day. And when someone as high profile as Gordon gives you the pat on the back or the kick in the backside that you need, then that's 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 the that's the part of your career that 
you have to make it work, you know. And I'm lucky enough for the past couple of years, Gordon has been behind me all the way, and huge team of staff, obviously, Simon. I think Simon is here, actually, but Busty is at home keeping the ship afloat, so it's, it's all of them, you know. And, he can't make the decisions without them, you know, so it's great. Yeah. We are the owners, obviously, you know. Yeah. We're delighted to see you here. You've got to go and get your trophy. I don't think you're done yet today. Best of luck. Yeah, thanks. Now, I thought we'd talk to Brian Aitchison, a.k.a. Rob Cool, but you know that. The owners of Jerry Colom, on whom David Russell has just had a wonderful redemption. Let's just talk about that bit of the story, first of all. You must be so pleased to provide a Grade 1 victory for David Russell, given how Cheltenham went for him. I couldn't understand why Davy didn't retire on Jerry Colom in Limerick at Christmas, right, to tell you the truth, because he, he was always going to win the, the, the Faheen. Um, but it's great, it's redemption. Like, Russell, Russell, Russell's a good guy. Uh, he's a friend, I know him a long time. So when he, when he wins on you, like, it's not taken away from Jordan. Jordan Gainford's a wonderful jockey. Uh, hurt at the moment and wish him well. Jordan, come back soon. Uh, but delighted for Davy. Yeah, it was it was a great moment. The horse was brilliant today. The way he jumped, he was he was. But the two horses going off gave him a target to aim at. I was worried about Paul Town and Bron actually. Um, but like, okay, he's won a beginner's chase here. I go back and I said I said it to the guys there. To me in Cheltenham, the best horse on the day won the race in the Wacker. He jumped better than us. Uh, Sam gave him a great ride. Uh, the, our Jerry wasn't on, as sharp that day, he was just a little bit switched off. We learned from that, Davey had him in it today. Um, so I'm delighted for him, like he's won three great ones. So he, he's done all right, you want another 50 of them. He's a yeah. fabulous horse. You might have a Gold Cup prospect now, surely? Hopefully, hopefully. That race should suit him, surely? Yeah, well, hopefully. I just want to Jane Mangan to present me with the Gold Cup. She said he was not going to win the Gold Cup, so... <laughs> And I've told Jane that, so you're all right. We'd all like to see that. Yeah, 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 yeah. So we'll see, we'll see. Like, the, the champion, Gallopin, is uh, a wonderful horse. Uh, he was the one horse, leaving aside our horses going into Cheltenham, he was the one horse I actually wanted to win the Gold Cup because it made up for the, the absolute thing that happened last year in the Turners, which was unfair. It was unfair to the horse, it was unfair to the, the, the Turleys. Uh, and I, I was, he was the one horse I actually won. So I, Gallopin's a good champ. Yeah. He's a good champ. Well said. Now, I mean, told to wrap up, I'd love to talk about Gin and Line, French Dynamite, Absolute Notions, and I think it's got a corking chance in the Sefton. You've got the favourite for the National tomorrow, and ain't that a shame? So I'm hoping I'll be speaking to you later today. So I'm going to leave it with Hopefully. many Hopefully. congratulations, Hopefully. Brian. Thanks, thanks. Thank you. Thank you. Watch live racing now on racingtv.com.